Big Bad Wolf is Good by Simon Puttock and Lynn Chapman. Big Bad Wolf was lonely. He had no friends. Perhaps it's because I'm big and scary, he said to himself. Perhaps it's because I'm bad, bad, bad. He sat and thought, and he thought. I know, he said. I will not be bad anymore. I will be good. Then someone will be my friend. So Big Bad Wolf set off to be good. Mrs. Goose was in the garden with her seven little goslings. Good day, said Big Bad Wolf, politely raising his hat. Honk, cried Mrs. Goose. It's Big Bad Wolf. Mrs. Goose and her seven little goslings ran into the house and slammed the door. Oh, Mrs. Goose, said Big Bad Wolf sweetly, please open the door. I'm a good wolf now, and I've come to play with your seven little goslings. But Mrs. Goose would not open the door. The seven little goslings chanted, Big Bad Wolf, stay away and don't come back another day. And they made faces through the curtains. Big Bad Wolf felt sad. Those geese had not given him a chance. He sat and he thought and he thought. I know, he said. I will be useful and good. Then someone will be my friend. So Big Bad Wolf set out to be useful and good. Mrs. Chicken was going out. She was waiting for the babysitter for her six little chicks. Where can that babysitter be, she fussed. Ahem, Big Bad Wolf coughed politely. I would be glad to sit with your six little chicks. Yikes! squawked Mrs. Chicken. It's Big Bad Wolf. Run, children, run! They ran into the house and slammed the door. Oh, Mrs. Chicken, said Big Bad Wolf sweetly. I'm a good wolf now. Please let me in to look after your six little chicks. But Mrs. Chicken would not open the door. The six little chicks chanted, Big Bad Wolf, stay away and don't come back ever again. And they made faces through the curtains. Big Bad Wolf was really sad. Those chickens had not given him a chance. He sat and he thought and he thought and he thought. I know, he said, I will be useful and good and I will do a noble deed. Then someone will surely be my friend. So Big Bad Wolf set out to be useful and good and do a noble deed. Mrs. Duck stood on her doorstep calling, where are you, number five? Good evening, Mrs. Duck, said Big Bad Wolf, bowing politely. What seems to be the trouble? May I be of some assistance? Mrs. Duck flew into a rage. Quack, she cried. It's Big Bad Wolf, and he's eaten poor little number five. She rushed inside and slammed the door. Big Bad Wolf was upset. He banged and banged at Mrs. Duck's door. Let me in, he howled. I haven't eaten anybody. But Mrs. Duck would not open the door. The five little ducklings, one to four, saying, Big Bad Wolf, stay away and don't come back because you've eaten number five. And they made sad faces at him through the curtains. Eaten number five, indeed, shouted Big Bad Wolf. I'll show them. I won't be good. I'll be bad 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 big bad wolf was stamping through the woods in a terrible temper when he heard a small sad voice quack i'm lost said the voice big bad wolf stepped out from behind a tree quack cried number five quack quack help it's big bad wolf and he's going to eat me big bad wolf's feelings were horribly hurt if you don't stop being silly this minute, he roared, I will eat you. So there. Number five looked up. A fat little tear rolled down his bill. I want my mommy, he said. There, there, said Bad Wolf. We'll find your mommy. And he scooped up number five and put him in his pocket. Big Bad Wolf knocked at Mrs. Duck's door. Excuse me, he called sweetly. I found number five. A door opened a tiny crack. 
Have you really? asked Mrs. Duck. Really and truly, said Big Bad Wolf. And, and you haven't eaten him? asked Mrs. Duck. When Mrs. Duck saw her lost little duckling, she snatched him inside and shut the front door. Bang! Big Bad Wolf walked away sadly. He had been useful and good, and he'd done a noble deed. But still, nobody wanted to be his friend. A big fat tear rolled down his nose. Oh, Big Bad Wolf, cried Mrs. Duck, opening the front door wide. Big Bad Wolf stopped. Would you like to come inside for a cup of tea? She asked. Big Bad Wolf turned around. Yes, please, he sniffed. Big Bad Wolf had a lovely visit. He drank three cups of tea and ate 11 cookies. Then he played with the little ducklings, one to five. Thank you, Mrs. Duck, said Big Bad Wolf when it was time to go home. Oh, thank you, Big Bad Wolf, said Mrs. Duck. For finding duckling number five, you are a hero. Do you think, asked Big Bad Wolf shyly, that you could call me Big Good Wolf now? Mrs. Duck laughed. Don't be silly, she said, and she gave him a big warm hug. You'll always be Big Bad Wolf, but you are good too.